All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? David Hammond, beautiful Mother Nature. My lens is a little foggy, sorry, guys. It's quite humid out here. But today, in this forest talk, we are speaking of, I'm also in a different little area if you've noticed that. Um, today, we're speaking of how to stop comparison, right? The fastest band aid ripper offer thing to how to stop comparing yourself to other people and whatever that means, dude. I do this, we all do this. It's a human tendency to do this, right? Um, whether that's on social media, whether that's with your photo work, your video work, your business, your this, your that, relationships, fitness level, like it, really anything. It really doesn't matter what it is, right? Um, how to do that? It's actually something very easy, it's something that I've done maybe about a year ago naturally, and uh, it's something that probably a lot of you guys have already done too. It's very simple, it's just I don't think we do it because we like to hold on to things, and that is to let go or to unfollow or to just really just let go, give away all of these people, right? And what I mean by that is, let's use social media as an example, because that's really where we compare ourselves to a lot of other people, right? Be very, very aware of who you're following, right? A lot of times we follow people because maybe we grew up with them, we were friends five years ago, or we met them one time in Brazil, and like all these little reasons, and then we follow that person really for life, and um, it just racks up and racks up and racks up. Now, it's not necessarily bad to follow a person, whatever, that's nothing. But continuing to do that for really no reason just to follow random people, to continue to do that and do that, do that, it's literally just consumption overload. So when you see their stuff, you're naturally gonna compare. And comparison's a very subconscious thing. It's not necessarily, you're not really necessarily doing it because you're insecure. You can be the most insecure, I mean, sorry, you can be the most secure dude in the world. You will still compare yourself because it's a human tendency. When you see other things, other people, you are subconsciously going to compare where you are in your life with where they're at in their life. It's just what we do. It really doesn't matter if you're insecure or secure. It's just comparison's a real thing. And you, you're gonna continue to do it. I'm gonna continue to do it to the day we die. It's just something we do. So really what I'm saying here is just unfollow 90% of those people. Um, you really don't need to. This is something that I still do to this day where you know, every few months I'll look at who I'm following. And on my Instagram page as an example, right? I'm following less than 50 people. And that's not because, oh, I'm cool, I don't need to follow people. It's no, it's, I'm very aware of who I wanna follow and who I wanna give out my time to. Like, I don't wanna just follow random people and absorb all this content that I don't really care about. It's just gonna do you more harm than good. Um, so every few months to this day, I'll still go back and look at that follow, who I'm following, that little list, and still unfollow people. Like, which content do I wanna absorb? Which people do I really value and care about that I will follow them, right? Um, it can be with YouTube, it can be with, dude, this can be with like, it's so much of a minimalist mindset being you got to ask yourself, like, do I really need this? You know, a lot of times we like to hold on and attach to these people or whoever it is. Oh, that's pretty scary, actually. Wow, a huge, Kiro, come here, come here. A huge branch just, goosh. damn, that's nuts. Anyways, um, oh, crap, it's starting to rain. I got to be quick. Um, anyways, guys, you know, and I get it, I completely understand, you know, so many times we'll tell ourselves, oh, I have to keep following this person, though, because we grew up together, or we were friends in high school, like, five years ago, or elementary school, but, like, you gotta really, truly ask yourself, like, is that a good enough reason to keep following and absorbing this person's content, which is just adding on to the pile of comparison, right? The more stuff you consume, the more you're gonna compare. Again, it's a human tendency. We like to compare things really for a safety reason, right? Bring it back to primal reasons. If I see someone with X amount of money, this, whatever, whatever, I'm gonna compare subconsciously to see, am I on the right track? Am I doing okay? Am I am I gonna live? Am I gonna, that's what I'm saying, right? So just unfollow these people, dude. You don't need them. They may get mad in the beginning. I had, out of like the thousand people I unfollowed or whatever it was, I maybe had like two or three ask like, yeah, why'd you unfollow me? And I told them like, oh, you know, I just, <laughs> Sitting in an ice age, like, oh, I don't know, I just unfollowed everyone. I don't need that. And they're okay with it. They really don't care. You may stop talking to them afterwards, and that's fine. This kind of brings this whole comparison thing is really a minimalist mindset, and it's not so much with social media, it's with friends, dude. If you have a whole bunch of acquaintances, like 300 people, you're going to compare yourself to all these people subconsciously or consciously, whether you know it or not. You gotta ask yourself, do I really need this consumption? Do I need these people? Do I need this comparison? And if you don't, then stop talking to them. Just cut the string, bro, like peace. You know what I mean? Um, I have like no friends. I know that sounds kind of weird, right? Oh, David, you loner. <laughs> right, look at me, I'm talking to a camera in the middle of the forest. True. But I'm content. Does that make sense? I'm, uh, there's very little, 
and I don't want to say little comparison because I do it as well on social media, but there's, by having little things, you appreciate them more. You value those things more. Does that make sense? So I have Adri as my girlfriend and uh, maybe like one or two friends. That's it, right? You value those people. You really do not need a bunch, okay? It's that whole one loony is better than a hundred pennies. This video is kind of all over the place, guys, but the main thing I wanted to say is to stop comparison, right? With whatever that means in any way. It's just to cut things out. It's as simple as that. It can be friends, it can be followers, it can be anything, dude. It can be clothes, man. That's a huge thing, too. It's, I said it's a minimalist mindset. You guys see in these four stock videos, I pretty much wear the same clothes all the time. You see in my videos, I don't have many clothes, and that's not to prove that I'm better than anyone. I don't even think that makes sense. It's just because you don't... I, I realize that I don't need that many things. Does that make sense? So, yeah, guys. That's kind of it. Kind of inspired me today, because... Uh, you know, comparison's a huge thing, man. It's very debilitating. It affects me, again, as it will affect all of us. But yeah, maybe that can help you guys. So I hope that it did help. If it did, give it a thumbs up. All that stuff, guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Beautiful Mother Nature. Can you hear that rain? Right? Perks of being the forest. The leaves protect you a little bit. Anyways, though, thanks again. Much love. Hope it helped. Peace.